Hi everyone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the uh, DC power cable for the IC705. It's the ICOM IC OPC2421. The uh, DC power cable you can get at um, you know places like Ham Radio Outlet, which are um, you know prices range, but they're they're below forty dollars, which um, they're it's not inexpensive. Um, there is another cable that um, is sold by um, Power Rack, and it's the DC two five ST, which is this one right here, uh, for about eight dollars. And it already has the Anderson power pole um, connection and then the barrel ready to go. And it's a pretty good length, um, uh, six feet long, and uh, I bought a, uh, an iron core for that. The only thing that I don't like about this particular um, DC power cord is that it's not at an angle like the original um, DC power cord from the IC705. I like this angle here so that um, I can plug it into the radio easily and it kind of like gets out of the way and then I can put it on you know maybe in a box or something for a project. Um, for this one for the uh, power rack one if I connect it it works fine but and yes you can probably twist this but it, you, you can see it comes out of the body a little bit too much. Um, so this one tends to be a little bit better, I think, for projects and also for your bag, if you want to put it in a bag. Although, the yes, the price difference is almost, uh, what is that, four times as much, four or five times as much. Um, the next thing that the ICOM uh, DC power um, cable has that the power rack doesn't is that uh, it has fuses on the positive and the negative. So um, that's really useful. And let's see if I can open this up here. Right there, as you can see, um, nicely well constructed. Um, and it has two, and over here, and you should write this down just in case if this ever comes out. This one says the fuse is 125 volts, 4 amps. So that's always uh, good to know. And another thing about this particular DC power cord is that it doesn't have the Anderson power poles, so you're going to have to. Uh, put them on. So that's um, another um, expense uh, that you're going to have to do, uh, put these on. But they're, it looks like they've been uh, soldered nicely, ready for you to put in the Anderson power poles. And another cool thing is they do tell you one is negative, one is positive. Um, so that's very good to know um, because... <laughs> You got to make sure you, you do that correctly. So, uh, oh, and then this is, this cable is, yeah, I think it's six feet. Let's see. A little bit short, actually. Uh, yeah, wow, almost a foot short. Hmm, so the power rack is definitely longer than the IC705 one. So there's, again, there's some advantages and disadvantages of these two. And you're just gonna have to make up your mind, you know, which is best for your project. Um, and what what is it that, you know, um, uh, is more affordable and, and part of your budget. All right, so I hope that was useful and informative. 
please subscribe. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie, Zero Oscar.